folks, this is Mineral Tracks and Fossil Talks. I'm your resident paleontologist, Jennifer. This is my self-proclaimed psychotic sister, Megan, who just happens to like pretty rocks. And this segment is What's With The Name? So we're gonna talk about Bears Ears National Monument. That bear over there, he's crazy. I am not crazy. That is a national monument in Southern Utah. Utah is just littered with national monuments and all that good stuff. So there'll be tons to go through. Now, I have a question for you. Why do you think it's called Bears Ears National Monument? Because something in the park looks like bear ears. How's it going, bear? Uh, don't call me that. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, Mr. Bear? No, I, I mean, I'm not a bear. I hate bears. Well, gee, eh? You're one big beaver. So there are two buttes. So buttes are hills with flat tops. Like my chest. <laughs> And those are not to be confused with mesas, which are more like mountains with flat tops, and plateaus, which are just massive, flat, high spaces. In different size stumps. So yeah. like a mesa would be like if you cut down one of the big trees in Yosemite, you just had this massive trunk, while a view, it's more like a really skinny tree that got chopped. Hiya! And a plateau is an extinct tree. Maybe a baobab. We'll go with baobab. Which isn't extinct, it's in Africa. Um, and if you don't know what a baobab is, look it up. They're super cool trees. So these buttes in particular, there are two that are kind of right next to each other in Bears Ears National Monument. Kind of resemble the ears of a bear. These buttes are over 9,000 feet in elevation. It's over 9,000! 9,000?! They're about 2,000 feet above the highway that goes into the monument, and you can see them quite a ways off. Basically there, these buttes are capped by the highly resistant Wingate Sandstone. Wingate Sandstone is Aeolian, which means it is desert sand, so these are big desert sand dunes. Wingate can get really, really big, a couple hundred meters, and because it is resistant to erosion, it protects all the soft stuff below it, which is how you get your flat top butte and your nice little slopes off of it. And that is how you get your bear's ears. We understand. You do? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you know what's with the name. And we will fossilize later.